Hello, it is I. <laughs> I totally pulled a Hannah Hart. Hello, it is I, Rachel. And today I am back to share a journal entry with you. So it comes from 1 Samuel 16, 10 to 11, the New Living Translation. And just a little context here. It is about King David being anointed by Samuel the prophet. And Samuel goes to Bethlehem, David's hometown, and meets with his family. Samuel sees David's brothers and says, wow, this, this guy looks like a king. Like, this must be it. This is what the Lord is saying. And um, he, he goes through all seven of them, or all, all of David's brothers, and doesn't see him. The Lord says, no, not, this is not him. This is not him. And this is where it starts. In the same way, all seven of Jesse's sons were pr presented to Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen any of these. Then Samuel asked, are these all of the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse replied. What that spoke to me was that even though the situation at hand didn't look like what God said, and God said that one of Jesse's sons are, is the next king of Israel, Samuel questioned the situation, not what God said. That was really big for me because we always live our lives and you know, you don't get the job, like the Lord says, go go get a job, this is it, like this is where y'all want you to be, but you, you apply, you don't get it, and you're like, why, why did that happen? You go to God and say, why did it happen? But what we should do is is go to, to the situation and say, why why weren't you aligned with God's word? And that's what Samuel did. He didn't he didn't question God. He didn't say, God, like, oh, sorry, sorry, Jesse. Sorry, none of these, I, I was wrong, you know, maybe I heard the Lord wrong. Um, I, I finished the meal, like, I'll, I'll be going. I'm sorry to waste your time. But no, he was like, are these all your sons? He, he went to the situation and said, you're, you're the one who's out of the line with God, not, not the Lord's word. And the truth be told, the situation was wrong. There's one left. There's, there's, another, there's another son, the youngest. And what God said was true. It's, the situation wasn't true. You, you ask yourself, why, why isn't my body being healed? But the Bible says, I'm, I'm willing to be healed by his stripes, I am healed. What needs to be aligned is not the word of God, but your body to the word of God. And that, that was pretty life-changing for me because I, I want that. I want to see situations like that the way Samuel did. And I don't want to like, question what God said or what I heard, but rather the situation at hand in front of me. Like what, like we walk by faith and not by sight. So I want that faith to be like realer to me than what, what I see. So yeah, <laughs> um, it's a pretty long entry, but I think that's the gist of it all. So I hope you enjoyed that. I, I just really wanted to share that. I was enthused about it. So I was like, I, I will share it with my, my audience, my viewers, my friends. Friendly flower. If you don't like content like this, I'm sorry. Um, I hope this this was good. But I have a vlog channel with me and my sisters called Via Crew Cubed. I will try and link it here, or the link will be below. Until next time, I I had a good day. I hope you had a good day. Bye. <laughs>